Hi, I'm here with Tim Doherty once again. My name is Justin Miller, and we are here to talk to you about configuring a live stream repeater in WoW's streaming engine. So, Tim, why do we want to configure a live stream repeater? Why do we need a live stream repeater? Well, this, this workflow that we're going over today would be ideal for somebody wanting to build their own private streaming configuration. I am in charge or I'm part of a team supporting a giant company and we have our own WAN links, we have our own facilities and for security purposes, a lot of times finance organizations, highly compliant organizations that deal with HIPAA and a lot of confidential information, um, they'll use a closed streaming workflow just so they can go back to their boss and say, none of this video data ever goes outside the internet or outside our secure VPN environment. So it really is, a, or, um, it's a real standard way of scaling a video workflow 100% using Wowza Streaming Engine. All right, well, hey, let's see how to set it up. So this is the article that you'll find. Um, it's in our Wowza Streaming Engine section of our website, and it's simply repeater. If you were to type in live repeater, Origin Edge, you'd probably be directed to this article. Um, I'm going to demonstrate this, not step by step necessarily, but it just gives you a little bit of background about it, how to set up a live Origin application, which we're going to do. Um, how to set up an edge application, which we're going to do. Um, so all of the steps are in here. You can do all of this in Wowza Streaming Engine Manager. So you don't have to access any um, any custom files or anything like that. It's it's a very core aspect of, of our Wowza Streaming Engine software. So the first thing you wanna do is determine where your, your origin servers are located. So right here, um, I have one streaming engine that's up and running. This is my, my origin server. It's under the domain local.techdemos. If you just kind of keep one eye on my address bar. I have another Wowza streaming engine running on a VM, and this is Ubuntu 18. So this is a VM that I have access to. That's going to function as my second origin application, because what I'm going to set up here is the failover capability, meaning if that edge server um, is no longer able to grab content from origin server one, it'll switch over to what you see in front of you, origin server two. And then on the third server is where I'm actually gonna create the edge application. So um, first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that I have streams coming into my origin. So I have a, just a regular application called live, no incoming streams, same thing on the other origin server, the desktop, main application live, incoming streams. I'm gonna go ahead and start the, um, the Clearcaster encoders. So there's my primary stream, and this will be my secondary stream. So I have two live streams coming into my origin app. So I should see that now. There's my stream. And then over here in the other origin, I've got my stream. So I have two live sources, two origin servers. Really straightforward. I go over to here to my third server. This one's called Ubuntu Server, you can see up here. And I'm going to create a live edge application. So if you were to go, if, if you're logged into Wowza Streaming Engine, you go to applications and then you would do add application, which is open by default. I'm gonna hit live edge and I'm just gonna call this edge. I'm gonna trim it back a little bit because I'm not doing smooth streaming or um, Adobe HDS. And then this is where I enter in the URLs for my particular origin servers. And, and fortunately in this case, it's fairly intuitive. And I'm gonna do 10.0.1.9 slash live. I need to put the port in there. And then this one below me is a very similar IP address. I just copied and pasted 10.0.1.11. So I've entered those two and it's it's very much implied, the primary and the secondary. So theory on the workflow is as soon as um, the primary goes away, the secondary will kick in. So I'm set up and I'm ready to go. And now I want to connect a player to it. Um, so this is where I'm going to go over to Theo player, which I have ready for you. And before I do that, I'm going to bring up some monitoring statistics. So this is at origin server number one. You can see it has one connection coming in. That's from the, um, the encoder itself. Should see the same thing on origin two. And then on my edge application, nothing's going on. So. Origin one, we have one, edge application zero. I'm gonna go ahead and start my, my player here. So that's my primary stream coming in. 
So the URL syntax is the domain. Um, in this case, it's it's running on port 443, which is implied with HTTPS. Edge application, remember I had created that edge application and the stream and then the playlist. So that's what's actually happening. It's pulling it from the edge now. And on the edge server, we see one connection. So it looks like, and, and shortly it'll probably render another one. I it might have just popped up since I started talking. We've got an HLS connection here, which is this player over here. And then we have we have a connection going back to the origin server. So now the origin server has two. If you remember earlier, it only had one. It's just, I wish I had an animation to demonstrate this, Justin, but I hope this is making sense. So this is the origin server, number one. Number two still just has the, um, uh, just just the encoder connection. Right. So any questions so far? No, no, that's making sense. Absolutely. It's so, always so, it's 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 a little difficult. I, I hear what you're saying to to visualize it because you're going back between just two tabs, and it's hard for me to remember which one is the origin, which one's the edge. And I did my best to explain that, but that is that as you work with it, you'll become accustomed to thinking almost compartmentally. I am on server one. I am on server two. I am on my edge server. And the cool part of it was when you scale, all the edge servers can just be car photocopied essentially. Yeah. You could take one edge server and pre-configure it and put it out across many servers. Let me just do one more thing here, Justin. I'm gonna turn off the um, the primary source and fail it over to the secondary. So right now you see this footage um, that I shot from the Puget Sound, which is just basic iPhone photography don't be too impressed um it should fail over to um some other stock footage so i'm going to go over here to the clear caster um 10.0.1.9 is my primary so i'm going to stop that and i'm going to go back and see what the player does now this could take anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds depending on how many chunks um have been affected with the outage so we're looking back in time about 15 seconds right here but we should, we might see the player pause. And if we do, that's not entirely unexpected. Um, but what we should do is it should switch over to some drone footage here. There it goes. Wait, no, that was a scene change. It should be coming over here pretty quick though. I know with that time delay of possibly up to 45 seconds sometimes. Yeah, here. there it goes. You can see now that it switched over gracefully to a shot um, that I shot with my drone. So, you know, it, it obviously worked it doesn't fail over back to the primary so if i start the primary again the the clients will stay connected to the, the secondary. secondary origin yeah and this is this was just a blank part in the video and so that's kind of the end-to-end -end setup all right so yeah if you're interested in scaling in your own environment um you need a a, a primary and a secondary failover um you know of course this supports all of the outbound uh, protocols that wowza can offer mpeg dash apple hls srt etc so there are well srt would be a different configuration but ultimately within this framework you can scale yourself using wowza technology well thank you for showing us tim uh i always like looking at it and also thinking about how that can be integrated with uh, ClearCaster. As I'm looking at the, all the ClearCasters that you have connected, it just makes me think of, you know, setting up an, an edge server like you're talking about mm -hmm. and having many connections ready to go that way. Definitely. And also bear in mind that uh, load balancing schemes can be integrated into this as well. And Wowza does provide a load balancer free of charge. So we do have advanced ways of setting this up. Uh, we love to do custom work. So thanks for, uh, Thanks for watching. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. And uh, tell Tim that he needs to get out of the van uh, by the side <laughs> of the river and get back to his house. Get That's home, right. Tim. I'm streaming in a van down by the river. How about that? Is that dry? Is that too dry? It's too dry. <laughs> All right. Well, for the rest of you then, uh, happy streaming.